not many people get a part without there even being a script. It happened to you in the hit television show 24. Is that because of Kiefer, your long relationship with Kiefer Sutherland? How did that happen? That's that incredible. was weird. Well, you know what? There, 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 there are two situations, and the, uh, uh, they're both recent. Uh, uh, for 24, it's interesting because I keep, yeah, Kiefer and I did Young Guns 1 and 2, we did Renegades. We did probably the worst Woody Allen film ever. Uh, as a matter of fact, I hear it was so bad, I didn't, I didn't want to watch it because uh, Woody did not direct it. Uh, it was a terrible, terrible thing called uh, Picking Up the Pieces. He and Sharon Stone were the leads, uh, and uh, he, he, he went out to California to shoot it, which was weird. I can't, I can't, I can't believe that I'm, I'm, I'm actually in California. I, mean, I have to drive a car, and it's, uh, it's very weird. It's very strange to me. It's, okay, but it's lovely working with you. I mean, what are you? Are you Mexican or are you Indian? I'm not sure. And so, yeah. So, uh, uh, so the, there's, uh, uh, I get a phone call one day from my manager, and uh, um, you know, Kiefer show the 24. I mean, it's just. You know, it's starting to take off. This is the first season, and he goes, uh, "Listen, there's not a script yet, but the producers called, and uh, they they want they they want to know if you want to do two episodes. Uh, and there's no script, but the setup is this: you are the warden uh, in an underground bunker, and all your scenes are with Kiefer and Dennis Hopper." I went, "Okay, I need to make one phone call," <laughs> and I called up Kiefer, and he was on set, and I said, "They're uh, they're offering me this role, Mark. Uh, I can't think, I think was the name or something." Yeah. Uh, he goes, oh, they're dropping you that. I said, yeah, you cool with that? Yeah, come on. Okay, fine. Call the manager. I'm in. I'm in. You know. So uh, uh, yeah, because, because it was just just this leap of faith where I knew that it was going to be incredible. Plus, you know, not only working with my old buddy Kiefer, but working with Dennis Hopper for God's sakes. You know, I mean, that's the, the even at this point in my career, the, if if something comes up where I can even do you know uh, a one scene or you know a guest spot or something with people that I love and that I respect, then you know I'm in because it's about life experience too. Uh, I was cast in the 33, uh, the film about the Chilean miners is now available on DVD. Uh, beautiful, beautiful film, I'm very proud of it. Antonio Banderas, Julia Pinoche, Gabriel Byrne, Rodrigo Santoro, amazing cast. But I met with Patricia Riggin and, and auditioned, uh, and she um, had these sides, but they weren't from the script because the script wasn't finished. And literally, this never happens, other than, you know, like the young guys thing, but I mean, literally finished the audition, she goes, okay, you have to be in the movie. Uh, and she'd also seen Philly Brown that I did with my friend Edward James Olmos that gave the world Gina Rodriguez, who is now Gina the Virgin. Uh, uh, I play uh, uh, Gina's uh, father in that, and it's, it's a little film that was a huge Sundance hit. Uh, it's a hip-hop movie, of, it's, it's a fantastic film, so if you uh, get a chance to see that one, it's called Philly Brown with an F. Uh, but she had seen me, my work in that, and I, I won the uh, 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 Best Supporting Actor at the Milan International Film Festival, and the uh, Imahin Award, and the, there's one other Latino Award that I won. Uh, and so, you know, she, was, she just wanted to see what I could do with this Chilean stuff, and literally at the end said, okay, you're going to be in the movie. I said, great, who am I playing? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I'm in. Okay, no matter what, I'm, I'm in. Because Antonio was already attached, and and I, I just I just knew it was going to be amazing. I mean, it was about this true story of the Chilean miners. So she said, "Okay, but here's the thing: you have crash diet. You have to go on a crash diet right now." I'm like, fine, done. I mean, which is probably why she told me I had the gig then and there because she wanted me to lose. Did you lose? Here's the twist. So they sent me immediately. Me, Jacob Vargas, and Oshkosh. They sent us to the Biggest Loser Fat Camp for a day. I freaking thought they were going to kill me. <laughs> I'm in pretty good shape, and I swear to God, I thought I was going to die. Why? It was eight hours of working out, and you know, <laughs> and, and, like, you know a lettuce leaf and a carrot. Uh, they, 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 they like put us on a thousand, but they, they gave me 1,200 calories a day. I actually shaved it to 1,000, and two to four hours of constant cardio a day. And I, you know, I, I lift weights, and then, so stop lifting weights. So I lose 15 pounds in three weeks. Uh, then I get a phone call from Colombia, from Patricia Riggin, the director. She goes, one of our sets burned down. We're screwed. We have to change the schedule, put the weight back on. <laughs> I kid you not. I, ha I put the weight back on. I said, when are we going to lose the weight? She goes, we're going to lose it over the Christmas break. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Some of you have seen me on, you know, the cooking shows. No, fuck me. I love to cook. I love to eat. And 
And so that was the year I did not get a Thanksgiving and I did not get uh, a, uh, a Christmas. Uh, I cooked it and then I served it and then I watched. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, the funny thing, that's when I, that's when I quit drinking. Because it was like, oh, you know what, screw it. Uh, you know, I don't need the extra calories. You know, and, I, and it just stuck. Uh, but I ended up losing 18 pounds. Uh, I put a little bit of that on and then just last year I did a movie called uh, the Night Stalker, where I played Richard Ramirez, the serial killer. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it was a beautiful, touching, warm, fluffy story. Uh, but uh, he actually died of lymphoma in prison. He was not executed. He was on death row for 23 years. So I ended up, I started, and I ended up getting down a little bit further for that one, too. So, yeah.